So I just finished the video for, uh, what was it, uh, the Gram-Schmidt process. So even though this is an extremely, uh, this, is an, this is another extremely, uh, you know, tedious subject to do, this is least squares, um, nothing can be as bad as uh, a bunch of, bunch of Gram-Schmidt. So let's do this. This is the only time I'm writing the formula down for this least squares solving uh, the for the least square solution of an inconsistent linear system just means solving for a transpose a times x is equal to a transpose b so we've just multiplied the left and the right hand side on the left by a transpose and uh, yeah pretty much all of these questions it's just going to be computing a transpose a computing a transpose b uh, smushing them together in, into an augmented matrix, solving for x1 and y1, and then moving on. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. So a transpose a will be 1, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 1, 2, multiplied by 1, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 1, 2. This gives us, this gives us a 2 by 2 matrix uh, with entries 3, 3, 3, and five. Uh, a little shortcut you can do whenever you're computing uh, matrix times its trans a matrix times its transpose. It'll always be uh, symmetrical if you're doing it right. So as soon as I find this entry, I know that uh, the entry across across the uh, main diagonal will have to be the same. Okay, now we're computing a transpose b one negative one one zero negative one two multiplied by Six zero zero. This gives us a two by one matrix with entries six and zero. So we can set up an augmented matrix with three three six and three five zero. This can become one one two zero two negative six one negative three zero negative one. Oh wait, I can't I can't add, can I? Yeah, we're subtracting this, so we get 0 and 5. And that's it. 5, negative 3. Done. Now we got to do this uh, six more times. Let's find the least square solution to this thing. It's, it's always the same. They, they literally do not change this problem ever. It's the same formula, the same application. Um, yeah, that, it's, uh, it's not that fun. Uh, negative 1, 2, negative 1, 2, negative 3, 3 negative 1, 2, negative 1, 2, negative 3, 3. Not that I want them to change the formula for how they do these questions, though, because I'm perfectly happy just getting the answer correct. Yeah, that's, that's fine with me. Okay, so this first position will be 6. Then we have minus 8, minus 3, so negative 11, u. And then 18, uh, 19, 20, 20, 22, there, yuck. Now a transpose b, negative 1, 2, 2, negative 3, negative 1, 3. We're multiplying that by 0, 1, 1. That gives us a 2 by 1 matrix with entries 1 and 0. OK. So now we can set up 6, negative 11, 1, negative 11, 22, 0. We can make this 1 negative 2, 0, and let's subtract 6 row 2's from row 1. That gives us a 0. We'll add 12 here. That gives us 1. And we'll add 2 row 1's uh, to row 2. That gives us 0 and 2. And uh, yeah, I was reading this upside down. So if we, if we flip this, this is our solution for x1. This is our solution for x2. So we get 2, 1 as our answer. Yeah, you got to be careful about that. I think a couple times they've even had kind of trap answer choices set up to catch people who, uh, you know, don't solve and get an identity matrix. They get the, you know, the opposite on the left-hand side. 21, least squares. Great. They even use the same dimensions every time. It's, it's, uh, yeesh, one, two, one. 3, 2, 5. That's a transpose. We're multiplying that by 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 5. This gives us a 2 by 2 matrix. Who would have guessed? With entries 6, 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 5 is 12, 12, 
uh, 25, 25 plus, uh, 25 plus 13 is 38, okay. And then A transpose times B, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 5, multiplied by 0, 5, 8. We got some kind of yucky numbers with this one. We get 18 and 50. Okay, let's set up this augmented system. Blah, blah, blah. Augmented system. We have 6, 12, 18, 12, 38, 50. We can simplify row, row 1 down to 1, 2, 3, and now we have to subtract 12 row 1s from row 2. That gives us a 0 here. We're subtracting 24 from 38. That gives us 14. And 50 minus 12 times 3, 50 minus 36 is, wow, look at that, 14. 14. So we can turn this row into a 1, 1, and as a result, this row will become will become a zero one. So there's a solution, one one. And they also write look at that. That's the only kind of difference we ever get here that they're that they're giving our answers as a, an ordered pair instead of a column vector. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, three problems left. The exact same thing. It never never ever changes. Never. We have one, 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 two, three. We're multiplying that by A, this is A transpose, not like you need to hear that at this point. This gives us a 2 by 2 matrix with entries 3, 6, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There. Okay. A transpose 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3. We're multiplying that by uh, vector B, which is 5, 6, 7. This gives us a 2 by 1 matrix with entries 5 plus 6 plus 7, which is uh, 13 plus 5, so 18, and then 5 plus 12 plus 21, 21, 12, 5, 8, 38, 38, wow, that's the second time 38 has come up in like two questions. So we're solving 3, 6, 18, 6, 14, 38. We can simplify row 1, down to one, two, six. And let's subtract six row ones from row two. That gives us zero, two, and minus 36 here is another two. We get a one, one, and a zero, four. So four, one is our solution. Feel bad for the people who went and computed D. Okay, 15. I could do these without talking and you get the same, same amount of, uh, uh, you know, use out of this. 1, 1, 1, negative 2, 0, 2. That's our A transpose. We're multiplying that by A, which is 1, 1, 1, negative 2, 0, 2. And we get 3, 0, 0, 8. Okay. A transpose is 1, 1, 1, negative 2, 0, 2. Multiplying that by B, 1, 2, 4. That gives us a 2 by 1 vector with entries 7 and negative 2 plus 8 is 6. So, uh, you know, if if we know that, okay, this this one's just too easy. 3, 0, 7, 3, 0, 7, 0, 8, 6. We can just divide this out. So we get 1 and 3 fourths here and 1 and Seven thirds there, and that's all that. That's all that one is. And finally, we've reached the end of a very. This this video is so much more depressing than I thought it would be. It's it's literally the same thing over and over again, which in a way is a good thing. Kind of kind of free points if you know what to do. Guess what? We are solving an inconsistent linear system, uh, ax equals b, for the least square solution. And guess what? A is a 3 by 2 matrix, B is a 3 by 1 matrix, and yeah, it's just, it's totally crazy. So we're solving A transpose, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, negative 1, 1, multiplied by A, 0, 1, 1, 0, negative 1, 1, that gives us 
say with me, a two by two matrix with entries two, zero, zero, two. Now A transpose times B, zero, one, one, zero, negative one, one, multiplied by one, zero, zero, gives us a two by one matrix with entries, wow, that's suppressing, zero, zero. So our system is two, zero, 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 two, zero. That's so sad. Our last one's just zero, zero. Yeah, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> God.